Hello everyone. Welcome to XDynamo. In this video we will discuss how to analyze the whirling of shaft using ANSYS Workbench. We will compare the computational results with theoretical calculations. Here is the problem statement. Let us consider a solid steel shaft supported in short bearings. Find the critical frequency for different modes of vibrations, under self-weight of shaft and nature of deformation using ANSYS workbench. Compare the computational results with theoretical calculations. Consider a solid shaft made up of structural steel, with a circular cross-section of 50 mm diameter. The length of the shaft is 1000 mm. As the shaft is supported in short bearings, the end conditions can be assumed as simply supported. First we will go through theoretical calculations. Critical speed Vibration is a mechanical phenomenon in which the oscillations occur about an equilibrium point. In transverse vibrations, the system oscillates in a direction perpendicular to longitudinal axis. The rotating shaft undergoes transverse vibrations, because of self-weight or externally applied load. If the speed of the rotating shaft reaches its natural frequency, resonance occurs in the shaft, which causes the shaft to vibrate violently in the transverse direction with very high amplitude, and this ultimately leads to failure of shaft. That's why the resonance speed of the shaft is also called critical speed. It should always be ensured that the operating speed of the shaft should be lower than its critical speed to avoid resonance. In vibrational analysis, modes of vibration are the different types in which the system tries to oscillate naturally, without any excitation force. The frequency of oscillation is termed modal frequency or natural frequency, and the shape made by the system is called mode shape. Deflection The amount by which the shaft deflects under its self-weight is given by, delta equal to, 5 WL power 4 by, 384, EI here is the data from problem statement. Young's modulus of steel is 2 times 10 power 5 newton per mm square. Density of steel is 7850 kg per meter cube. The length of shaft is 1 meter. The diameter of shaft is 50 mm. Self-weight of the shaft is equal to specific weight rho g times volume of shaft which equals 2 rho g times pi by 4 d square l. The weight of the shaft is 151.2 newtons. The rate of loading is ratio of self-weight to total length of shaft, which equals to 0.1512 newton per millimeter. Substituting above values in deflection formula, the maximum deflection is obtained as 0.0323 millimeters. Critical speed. It is the speed at which the resonance happens. Critical frequency is given by pi by 2 multiplied by square root of 5g by 384 delta. The critical speed of the shaft in revolutions per minute is equal to 60 times the critical frequency. On substituting values in the critical frequency formula, fundamental critical frequency, Fn is obtained as, 98.78 Hz. Let us find out critical speeds for different modes of vibration. In this analysis, three modes of vibrations are considered. Observe the shapes of the vibrating shaft in different modes. The mode 1 critical frequency is the fundamental frequency. Mode 2 critical frequency is, 4 times the fundamental frequency whereas, the mode 3 critical frequency is, 9 times the fundamental frequency. The values of critical frequencies and critical speeds, for different modes of vibration are shown in this table. We are done with theoretical calculations. Now we will go through computational analysis. Modal analysis Modal analysis is a technique to study the dynamic characteristics of a structure under vibrational excitation. Natural frequencies, mode shapes and mode vectors of a structure can be determined using modal analysis workbench. Modal analysis Modal analysis calculates the natural frequencies of the system alone. Modal is the simplest analysis and the only thing it does is finding out what are the resonance frequencies of the geometry. It isn't related to loading at this stage and, 
it depends only on the geometry and boundary conditions. Resonance frequencies change due to the shape of your model, and the way the geometry is constrained. Let us dive into ANSYS Workbench. Select the Modal Analysis Workbench. Click on Geometry and open Design Modeler. Select XY Plane. Change the units to millimeters. Go to Sketching and draw a circle at the origin. Go to Dimensions and select Diameter. Provide the circle diameter as 50 millimeters. Go to Modeling and select Extrude. Click on Sketch of Circle and give the extrusion length as 1000 millimeters. The shaft is ready for analysis. Close the design modeler. Click on modal and wait for the geometry to get loaded into the workbench. Go to geometry and click on the solid to check the material assignment. By default, Structural steel is assigned. Go to mesh and provide element size as 0.01 meters. Now generate the mesh. Go to analysis setup. Change the number of modes to 7. Now insert the boundary conditions of simply supported beam. Right click on modal and insert displacement constraint. Select the left end of the shaft. Change the X and Y components of displacement as zero. Make sure that Z component is free. Repeat the same steps for the other end of the shaft. Right click on the solution and insert total deformation. Now solve the model. Let us look at the simulation results. The mode 1 deformation is along the longitudinal direction, as the shaft is not constrained in the Z direction. This mode of vibration doesn't cause whirling of the shaft. Now retrieve mode 2 results. The shaft is vibrating in transverse direction in XZ plane. The shaft vibrates in bow shaped pattern with critical frequency of 98.817 Hz. The mode 3 vibration is in YZ plane. It is exactly same as mode 2 vibration. The only difference is the plane of vibration. Let us look at mode 4 results. The shaft has a node at the center which undergoes zero displacement during vibration. The critical frequency of mode 4 vibration is 391.87 Hz. Mode 5 is similar to Mode 4 vibration. It happens in YZ plane. In Mode 6 vibration, the shaft has two nodes along the length. The critical frequency is 869.49 Hz. It is exactly the same shape of deformation we discussed earlier in theoretical calculations. Also mode 7 vibration is similar to mode 6 vibration. We cannot get the stress results in modal analysis workbench. Only deformation results are available in this workbench. Let us compare the computational results from ANSYS with theoretical calculations.
All the results from this analysis are provided in this table. Mode 1 critical frequency is calculated as 98.78 Hz, whereas, the ANSYS results show the critical frequency as 98.81 Hz with an error of 0.03%. Mode 2 and Mode 3 results show an error of 0.82% and 2.19% respectively. Computational results from ANSYS are very close to the theoretical calculations. The error in critical frequencies increases for higher modes of vibrations. Here is the conclusion we get from this analysis. The modal analysis workbench shows the nature of deformation, at different modes of vibration. The end conditions and geometry of the shaft decide the shape of vibration and critical frequency. The computational results from ANSYS matches with the, theoretical calculations with negligible error. It is always advisable to go through, theoretical calculations or experimental data, before the simulation in ANSYS. The meshing and solver settings are to be modified to minimize the error. That's all for this video. If you get value from this video, please hit the like button, and subscribe to XDynamo. Thank you. We'll see you in our next video.